Hi, I'm Teresa with Inflectra. I'll be providing a series of short videos to help you get started using Spira. This includes all the additions of the system, Spira Test, Spira Team, and Spira Plan. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to add a new user. So let's get started. Okay, let's take a look at users in Spira Plan. I've logged into my demo instance as system administrator. I'm gonna use the system administration menu here in the top right, and I'm going to click on Users, View Edit Users. You can see that the trial instance comes preloaded with a set of users. Users can then be added to products with a specific role. We'll talk more about that in the product creation video. In order to create new users in the system, the system administrator can add a new user from this screen by clicking the Add button. They can then provide a default password uh, for that user and the user can then update it. Another option would be for uh, the user to request an account. Then the system administrator can approve that with this pending request option here. So let's demonstrate how that works. I'm going to open a new browser uh, with this same instance. I'll go there now. So here we have a Google Chrome window open. And on the login page, I'm going to click on this request for an account link. In the user form, I'm going to enter a requested username, an email address, and then choose a password and confirm that password. Finally, I'll give a, a password question and answer for password recovery. And now you can see that the submit button here is in bright yellow and I'll click on that. My request has been sent, submitted to the system administrator. So let's go back to the system admin window in Firefox and uh, approve that request. Okay, we're back in the Firefox. We're logged in as system administrator. I'm gonna click the uh, three cogs and then the pending requests link there. And there's this new user that we've just requested and I have the option to approve or delete the request. I'll go ahead and approve. Now let's go back to our Chrome window and log in with that newly created user and password. Enter the username and that password that I created and click login. You can see that the trial is offering me that introductory tour. I can say no thanks. And now I'm at the my page with that new user, don't worry that you don't have any workspaces here, any products. We're gonna take care of that in future videos. You can also see that as a user, I'm not system administrator. So I don't have that three cogs menu here in the top right. Thanks for watching this user management video today. In the next video, we'll look at user profile options. We have more Spire Explainer videos for you to explore on this channel. Check them out now.